What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Keigo Moriyama Photography and today we are back to action cameras. Yes, because I have with me here the new XTU S3 action camera. As you probably remember, uh, a couple of months ago or more, uh, we had reviewed the great XTU Max. I really love this camera, the capability, and especially the uh, electronic stabilizer that uh, is called Super DIS. It's phenomenal compared with a more expensive camera like the uh, GoPro or the DJI this one it's really amazing imaging quality is great can take beautiful pictures and the image stabilizer uh, was uh, really 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 good if you don't remember I will leave the uh, link uh, here I think and so that you can uh, check it out the test but going back to the S three model. So the uh, XTU uh, reached me out again after I have reviewed the X1 and uh, asked me if I wanted to uh, test it out the S3 model. So this is the entry model of the XTU family if you want to say uh, this way because uh, price wise uh, it's uh, cheaper than the uh, bigger sister. But how does it compare with the X1? Well, first of all, let's check it out what we can find inside the box. So as it's uh, common in uh, this type of uh, action camera from China, as you can see, we have lots of accessories. And uh, in addition to that, as usual, the instruction manual that uh, in this case uh, it's only in Japanese because it's sold here in Japan. The unconditional lifetime warranty card and uh, uh, thank you card of this guy enjoying surfing. And uh, so how is this uh, S3 by XTU? Well, this is the X1 or the Max that we had uh, review before. So if I have to look at it, it's uh, well, it's, it's really similar. There are some kind of uh, differences on uh, the top and side, as you can see here, more on the design part. And uh, despite the fact that probably for the other pieces, they they simply use the same uh, the same one that they had on stock, and this time we have uh, not just the XTU brand, but uh, for the S3 we also have the name uh, of the model itself. So let's clean and let's start uh, checking if uh, there is any difference inside. So let's zoom in. Okay, and uh, let's start with the battery. Even this time, unfortunately, uh, XTU is providing only one battery. Uh, but for your information, I noticed that uh, the uh, batteries from other uh, Chinese action cameras that are slightly smaller than this one, despite having the same uh, milliampere, you can still uh, use in uh, this type of camera. You simply need to uh, put inside and, and that's all. Let me show you how. So in this case we have uh, a Victor uh, battery and as you notice uh, it's uh, smaller than uh, the battery that we have from uh, XTU in this case or uh, other uh, companies as well. So it seems like they are changing to this, uh, uh, these sites. But uh, if we check uh, the characteristic, this is 3.7 volt uh, and uh, let me see if I can show you. Okay, 
This is 3.7 volt, uh, 1050 milliampere. And this one is uh, 3.7 volt and uh, 1350. So it's a little bit more in terms of capacity, but it works the same. So this battery now is not fully charged. So I have to really hurry up to uh, show you how it works. Uh, we simply insert and because there is uh, in the inside, as you can see, the three uh, lines that are going to make the contact here, we simply find the spot. So usually move it on your uh, left when it's open and then turn it on and it works. So if uh, you have uh, around uh, uh, some other action cameras, uh, well, you can, uh, you can still use uh, the batteries. So uh, going back to the S3, uh, these are the two batteries and uh, they are exactly uh, the same. The only difference is that uh, here is written max, nothing else, nothing more for that. So let's turn it on both of them and see if inside there is any difference or not. Hopefully these batteries are both charged. And I need to change the language. In English, let me remove the cover. I swipe up to switch to the current mode. It's not super super responsive. Ah, okay, sorry, it's just to to touch the screen. My bad. So the menu itself is uh, almost the same. Uh, here, of course, on the uh, X1, we have set up some uh, characteristics like, for example, uh, the stabilizer. So we want to do the same. So when we go to setting, it's a little bit different. Seems like we it start with start action and here is a Wi-Fi and language, video format, uh, frequency, and a bunch of uh, uh, options that uh, are here as well that we can select or not, depending on what we want to do. Let's uh, uh, go back. It's really responsive. Let's go to the settings. Here is exactly the same. The gyro, we say no, on. And uh, while here, there is the Super DIS. So this is the, the main probably difference between the two. Gyro EIS and here is Super DIS. LCD, okay. We can make the same, the video and code that we can change between the two. That's exactly the same. Uh, 4K, 4K and uh, 30 fps or 60 fps here is just uh, 4k 30 fps for the s3 then uh, we have 2.7 at 30 and 2.7 30 or 60 and again this is the difference and uh, we have uh, sorry 1080p and 720 on the max and uh, uh, 1440 at 60 uh, FPS on the S3. So again, uh, on the resolution, uh, uh, there are some uh, differences between the, uh, the two. Uh, if we go back on the main menu, again, we click on the quick menu and here is uh, exactly the same, doesn't change. We can choose between video and photo and uh, for both menu is uh, the same. The differences I found here is that uh, the menu, as you can see, it's a little bit lighter. So the background, uh, instead of being completely black, uh, like uh, this one is uh, this gray color, but uh, for the other option, we have exactly the same, uh, the same one. 
uh, same megapixel for the camera uh, we can set up everything as auto or we can uh, we can change it if necessary um, what I like uh, seems like the uh, screen is a little bit brighter on the S3 uh, I personally appreciate that uh, I like it uh, but for the other options guys it's uh, it's exactly uh, the same and that's all for the first uh, uh, simple unboxing so uh, if you uh, have more money to spend because uh, you feel like uh, the super dis is something extremely important and necessary for you uh, probably the xtu could be the first uh, choice to do but if you are a little bit on a budget the uh, S3 uh, can be the uh, option that you can choose one thing that I uh, felt unfortunately not the best in this type of uh, action cameras is that if you need to uh, charge the battery because uh, again they last yes but uh, uh, as much as electronic stabilizer you are going to choose uh, as faster the batteries are going to uh, to be depleted is that uh, if you're using the microphone of course you can't uh, charge at the same time because they're using the same usb port and uh, talking about usb i was a little bit surprised that we are still on the old uh, micro usb instead of uh, usb c um, i was expected a c honestly but again this is uh, the entry level model so that's why probably uh, we we don't have on on this one hopefully in a new uh, high-hand model uh, XTU is going to introduce it uh, I hope so so this is all for today hope you like the video and if you are interested in purchasing uh, one of the XTU cameras I will link the I will leave the links in the description below so that uh, you can go directly to the Amazon page and purchase it. As for your information, of course, uh, these are affiliate links. That means for you, it doesn't cost anything, but for me, it will help to support the channel. So, uh, and regarding the channel itself, another way to support me is uh, simply subscribing to it and uh, smash that like button together with the bell so that you will be notified for any new video that I'm going to release. So guys, if you have any specific request regarding this S3 by XTU, please let me know in the comments below and I will try to uh, answer to all of your questions and test if you have any specific requests for that. Thank you very much to XTU for letting me test this new action camera from their family. And uh, again, if you didn't see before the X1 uh, uh, video I have linked here on top as well as uh, the 12 inches cameras by XTU that is practically a, a dashboard camera for your uh, car again the quality even there is uh, is amazing these guys are really good in uh, producing uh, action cameras or dashboard for your car dash cam for your cars uh, with really really good quality and uh, you can easily easily use all that footage for your channel guys that's all for me for today hope you liked the video and as usual till next time stay click bye